Hi dear friends and beloved greetings from Andalusia again. Today I'm going to talk about the curse that is called asymptomatic transmission. Now the entire charade of control measures, surveillance and sanitary dictatorship that is taking place right now is based on one belief. The belief that seemingly healthy people are the carriers of a deadly virus and that they need to be controlled. Did you ever stop to think how mad that is? How utterly paranoid of a belief system is that? Basically, people have now come to believe that they themselves cannot possibly know if they are healthy. That they can't feel their own bodies. And the fact that they have no pains, no aches, no symptoms of disease doesn't mean anything. That they still can be contagious. That their biology is a threat to others. This is a fundamental shift in our consciousness. If we accept that curse, it has repercussions. It has very dark consequences to our lives, to our families, to the way that we express ourselves in this world. What will happen to spontaneous gestures of affection, handshakes, hugs? Do you really think somehow the powers that have created this medical fraud, this pandemic, are not going to use this weaponized agenda again? Has somebody promised you that this is the one and only pandemic in the 21st century? You know, Fauci has already talked about the era of pandemics. Bill Gates has mentioned this is not going to be the first pandemic. There's already news about how when the Arctic cap is melting, new deadly viruses are going to be released into the atmosphere. This is a way to wage war. This is not an anomaly in biology. This is a psychological weapon. And none of these control measures make any sense anyway. They are just giving you an illusion of safety. But you know what happens when you base your sense of security on an external thing? They've got you hooked. You are then dependent on this external thing. Is that really where we want to be going as a human family? To believe that our lives, our health, depends on an item, a mask, or a distance between me and the other person, or a COVID tracking app that's going to tell me if I'm in the vicinity of a person who is a high-risk individual, someone who has been exposed to another high-risk individual? What's happening to spontaneous visits from one country to, to another? Has it ended? Are people always required from now on to quarantine themselves even though they are healthy? What about the test? Some people are requiring for you to show a negative test result to prove to them that you are not a contagion. Do you believe this test is giving you an immunity? Some kind of a magical blanket to prevent you from becoming infected with the virus the second after you've given your test? If this magical virus is floating around everywhere through the air, wouldn't that then mean that you'd have to take the test every na nanosecond of your life from now on to prove that you are not infected? <laughs> Has anybody just stopped to think that this is all an absolute joke? A very morbid joke? 
I mean, I remember when the world used to be sane. You know, I used to live in the Amazon rainforest, as many of you know. When I'd come back to Europe, there was not a single member of my family or friends who was suspicious of me. None of them ever perceived me to be some kind of a host of invisible infestation, some kind of a, a biological hazard, a lethal weapon. Nobody ever asked me to isolate myself after returning from Peru. People would be leaping on me, embracing me, saying, I'm, it's so good to see you. It's been ages, but not anymore. Not anymore. Just a little while ago, I went to visit Finland from, from Spain. And some people would not see me because they perceived me to be dangerous, a contagion. Are people beginning to beg for the surveillance society to manifest so that they can feel safe? So they can be logged onto their COVID track and trace app and be monitoring if there's any contagions nearby? Forgetting the fact that being alive is a risk you know, the laws of nature have not changed. Healthy people have not suddenly become sick. Breath is still a vital part of life, of health. And it would be absolute insanity to believe that from now on we should live our lives with our faces covered. I mean, to me, it's even insane that I'm having to, like, whip up some scientific studies to prove that we need high level of oxygen. What's happening to common sense, people? It's absolute mockery of the human intelligence. That's what's happening now. You know, these track and trace apps, they should be applied to the worldwide criminal syndicates child trafficking and sex slave organizations not on healthy peaceful people like us are you going to submit to this oppression your family your friends your loved ones are not a threat to you but i tell you who is those who are infecting your beautiful mind with a very hostile worldview with a belief system that you can no longer trust your body, your immune system or your loved ones. That's who the real threat is. The mask is a symbol of dehumanization. It has been used already centuries ago as a symbol for slaves and prisoners to delete their humanity. If we allow our smiles to be taken away, what is left to protect? If we allow legislators to say that children can no longer sing in school, what is left of childhood? If they can't touch, play, sing, smile, what kind of a sick, twisted world are we creating? If that feels wrong to you, it's time to begin to take action. And if you are afraid of a fine, it's a piece of paper. There are much higher laws that we can appeal to, like the law of the land, natural law. It is time for us to step into our spiritual adulthood. Let's not let these parasites, these unlawful, false authorities who run this world, to tear us apart. Only in unity can we preserve our humanity.